I'm with CU Medicine provider Stephanie Durkin from CU Medicine Vascular Surgery Aurora. September is Vascular Awareness Month, and it's a great time to focus on venous and vascular health. Stephanie, what symptoms may indicate that somebody has a venous disease and needs to see a specialist like yourself? Symptoms may include leg swelling, heaviness, or fatigue-like feelings in the legs. The legs can feel tired, especially after a long day of standing on your feet or activity. Um, it also could be the presence of varicose veins, those bulgy veins that we often see in our legs as we age. And a fun fact, actually, according to the Society for Vascular Surgery, over 30 million Americans suffer from venous disease and only 10% are getting treatment. If someone notices these symptoms, it's important for them to know that we have resources and treatment options for them. What are the risks associated with letting a venous disease progress? Venous disease only gets worse over time. It doesn't get better on its own or heal itself. Symptoms can be kept at bay by conservative measures, such as wearing compression stockings and such. However, it will continue to get worse over time. If left untreated, venous disease can progress to skin staining from hemosiderin deposition and even to venous wounds or ulcers. How have treatments for venous diseases improved over time? What does modern treatment look like now? Interestingly, Treatment for venous disease dates all the way back to the fourth century. Fortunately, our treatment options have progressed tremendously over the years. People are often familiar with vein stripping, which is a very painful procedure, which consists of actually ripping the vein out. Over the last 15 to 20 years, we have developed endovenous techniques, meaning we have a very small access site where we can get into the vein and treat the vein from the inside rather than removing it with a very painful surgery. Endovenous treatment sounds really convenient. Is that a same day procedure? Yep, it's a same day procedure. We offer that at our Aurora location. We come into the office, it takes only about an hour or so, depending on the um, specifics of the procedure, but it's done up with no anesthesia. The patient stays awake and is able to leave right afterwards. Um, they walk right out of the building at the end of the case. Do you have any parting words for somebody that may have a venous disease like varicose veins and is thinking about getting it checked out? I would like for patients and providers to know that while venous disease and varicose veins is often benign, we do have great options for treatment when symptoms are present, such as discomfort and pain like we talked about. People are often nervous to undergo a procedure, which is understandable, but I want patients to know that together we will develop a customized plan for their specific concerns and goals. We have many options that we can discuss to come up with a plan.